We've done an isobaric process. We know an isobaric process pressure remains constant. Now integrating but that gets us to integral of dw equal integration of pdv with limits from v1 to v2. Now integral of dw turns out to be w. Taking out P as its constant, now we are left with W equal P integration of dV with limits from V1 to V2. Now integration of dV is V and now we have W equal P times V with limits from V1 to V2. Now upon further simplification, we get to W equal P times v2 minus v1 and v2 minus v1 can be written as either dv or delta v which further gets us to w equal p dv or p delta v and that's work done in isobaric process for you thanks for watching this